Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Module 5, Part 2. Our topic is Apply Safety Measures in Farm Operations. Follow emergency procedures to ensure a safe work environment. The following are the common emergencies in the farm. 1. Animal-related injuries. This includes any injuries inflicted by animals such as bites, kicks, ramming, crushing, and including the transmission of certain diseases like bird flu, salmonella, ringworm, and leptospirosis. 2. Hazardous equipment and machineries. This includes all moving parts in the farm. 3. Heat. This can potentially cause sunburn, heat stroke, and dehydration. And number four, ladders and high places. Falls from these can cause seniors major injuries. Number five, noise pollution. This can affect the person's hearing. Some of these are the noise created by machines and animals. Number six, pesticides and other farm-related chemicals. This will possess high hazard that can cause respiratory illness or poisoning. Number seven, unsanitary conditions. A lot of diseases can be caught with unsanitary practices in areas. And number eight, vehicle hazards. This will include potential accidents from vehicles like rushing and falling that can cause serious injuries. Emergencies that may occur on crop production farms. Number one, fire. The leading causes of fires are careless smoking and faulty electrical equipment. Other causes of farm fires could include lightning and the improper storage or use of flammable liquids. General fire safety precautions. Smoking should never be permitted in any farm storage areas. No smoking signs should be posted in the area at all exterior entrances. Exit doors should be clearly marked. Weeds, twigs, and other trash should be kept mowed or Pick up from around the outside of the barn. Manure files should be at least 20 feet away from the barn to reduce the chance of combustion fire. The temperature of composting manure should be closely monitored. If not managed properly, microbial activity associated with normal composting can result in spontaneous combustion of manure piles. Hay, bedding storage should not be near lights, fans, electrical boxes, heaters, or outlets. Flammable substances should be kept away from the barn. Store vehicles and machinery in a separate building. A fire hose and buckets should be available and kept for this purpose only. Practice fire drills and should be held in evacuation procedures and routes practice so employees and boarders are familiar with their responsibilities should a real fire occur. Animal or insect bites. Domestic animals like dogs and cats are responsible for most animal bites. While dogs cause more bite injuries, cat bites are more likely to become infected. To take care of an animal or insect bite or sting that cause a mild reaction, do the following. Move to a safe area to avoid more bites or stings. Wash the area with soap and water. Apply a cool compress. Use a cloth damp with cold water or filled with ice. Apply 0.5 or 1% of hydrocortisone cream, calamine lotion, or a baking soda paste to the bite or sting several times daily until your symptoms go away. Take an antihistamine to reduce itchiness. Number 3. Flood. You need a plan if your farm is prone to floods. Prepare your farm for flooding. Here are some steps you can take to protect your farm. Move machinery, electrical equipment, and equipment with motors, portable feed, grain, fuel, and agricultural chemicals such as pesticides and herbicides to higher ground. Have extra fuel for tractors and vehicles in safe place. 
leave building doors and windows open to equalize pressure during flooding to help prevent building from shifting. Turn off electrical power to all buildings that could flood. Tie down lumber, lugs, irrigation pipes, fuel tanks, and other loose equipment or material. Place riprap on banks of earth and manure storage facilities to prevent flowing water from eroding them. Keep an inventory of livestock, properties such as machinery and equipment, and hazardous or potentially hazardous substances. Livestock can be lost, killed, or stolen during an emergency, and agricultural chemicals can wash into streams or contaminate food supplies. Number 4. Typhoon Typhoons can destroy farmhouses, crops, and can kill livestock. It has an impact to crop production, resulting to great losses in terms of revenue. Here are some things farmers can do in the event of typhoon. Before the typhoon, stock a sufficient amount of food, clean water, and medical supplies. Harvest crops that can already be yielded and store them in a dry, safe place. Also, store plants in a dry place with a temperature where they can thrive. Prepare emergency lights and backup batteries. Keep flashlights, candles, and emergency radios nearby. Before the expected landfall, herd the cattle and other livestock into sheltered areas that are high above the ground if the area is prone to flooding. Here are some things farmers can do during the typhoon. Stay indoors. Close the windows and doors to prevent any debris from entering the building. Avoid wading in floodwaters and other marky areas. Stay updated with the weather announcement. In the event of an evacuation, evacuate calmly and make sure to bring all necessities like food, clothes, and medicine. If evacuation is necessary, secure the crops and livestock. Here are some things farmers can do after the typhoon. Beware of dangerous animals such as snakes that may have entered your house. Find out which areas are still planted before heading out. Check the house for any damage. Make sure that the field isn't too muddy or watery for planting or grazing. And dry seeds, feeds, pots for ornamental plants or other things that may have gotten wet during the downpour. Another emergency that may occur on the farm is the exposure to chemicals. Most of the farmers choose to use chemicals to keep weeds and pests from destroying their crops and to add more nutrients to the soil without considering the effect of these chemicals to their health. First aid to chemical poisoning if the victim is not breathing. First, evaluate the surroundings of the victim. Protect yourself from pesticides exposure prior to and while giving assistance. Second, administer artificial respiration. Third, call a doctor or bring the person to the nearest hospital. Then fourth, decontaminate the victim immediately, wash thoroughly and quickly. Speed is essential. First aid to chemical poisoning if the victim is breathing. First, evaluate the surroundings of the victim. Protect yourself from pesticide exposure prior to and while giving assistance. Second, decontaminate the victim immediately. Wash thoroughly and quickly. Speed is essential. Then call a doctor if the victim has ill effects from the exposure. Another emergency that may occur in the farm is the farm injury. Farming is one of the most dangerous occupation. Some dies in the farm-related accident and some are seriously injured. Take the following steps for minor cuts. A. Stop the bleeding. Apply direct pressure on the area. B. Clean and protect. Clean the area with warm water and gentle soap. Apply an antibiotic ointment to reduce chance of infection. Put a sterile bandage on the area. In some people, antibiotic ointments may cause a rash. If this happens, stop using the ointment. Electric shock. If electrical systems are not properly wired to remove dangerous voltage, persons can be subjected to electric shock, which can result in injury or death. The following are the first aid for electric shock victims. 
First, don't touch them. Second, unplug the appliance or turn off the power of the control panel. Third, if you can't turn off the power, use a piece of wood like broom handle, dry rope, or dry clothing to separate the victim from the power source. Number four, do not try to move a victim touching a high voltage wire. Call for emergency help. Keep the victim lying down. Unconscious victims should be placed on their side to allow drainage of fluids. Do not move the victim if there is a suspicion of neck or spine injuries unless absolutely necessary. If the victim is not breathing, apply mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. If the victim has no pulse, begin cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. Then, cover the victim with a blanket to maintain body heat. Keep the victim's head low and get medical attention. First aid. First aid, it is the provision of initial care of an illness or injury. It is usually performed by non-expert but trained personnel to a sick or injured person until definite medical treatment can be assessed. A good first aider must possess the following characteristics. Watchful. Pay strict attention to the situation. Resourcefulness. Ability to devise in ways and means. Gentle. Having a kind and calm characteristic. Diplomatic. Careful in saying a word not to upset other people. Sympathetic. A mutual association or feeling to be shown to the victim. Gladsome. Possessing a good spirit likely to display gloom. General directions for first aid. First, give immediate action. Action taken needs to be careful not to cause panic. The first aider must remain calm at all times. Second, keep the victim on its position. If possible, lay him or her down. Third, assess the situation. Examine the victim from injuries. Fourth, plan action to be taken. It involves seeking expert assistance. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.